All right, Brett, let's check out one of your slalom runs from uh, the Hermitage on a, on a foggy day there, soft conditions. A little rut starting to develop. We'll watch it in regular motion, then slow it down. You know, some good parts there for sure. Up top here, um, and I would like to see a little more consistent pole plan here. You came through blocking here and hand went back and never really pole planted. Pole plan helps us get recentered, rebalanced, move forward to the transition. Um, we need it here. No real pole plant there. And there you go. That's all you need. Just a little tap to the ground. That's how you do it. It's in position to plant when you block. You just drop it to the ground. Um, pole plant nowadays in slalom, modern slalom, more of like a kind of a tap to the side or down the hill, just like that. So let's just have it consistently. Decent turn there, bring a shape back to the pole. We seem to be ahead of it. Not a real pole plant, but. Another thing we don't make sure we're moving forward through the transition. So, you know, overall, I'd say this, this run is a little bit back seat and I need a better pole plant. I can hear hips, which is typical through the transition, but now I've got to make sure we're moving forward. Not bad. That wasn't bad. Flush here. You know, before the breakover, we need a direction coming out. Not a whole lot of direction. You're hitting these poles, skis going right down the hill in the fall line. So not a lot of direction, taking a little bit of a lower line out where the, uh, you know, kind of a bump is or mogul forms at the end of a rut. The rut was a little low, should have been above it, should have given your feet more room here and really brought more shape coming out. Um, so you hit this thing, send you in the back seat, and now you really got to fight on this breakover to get forward. Did a decent job of trying to recover there. But, um, you know, still, it was still kind of back seat. Back seat here, kind of late and low. And that kind of continued on. The good thing is you fought through this and finished. Sometimes I've seen you kind of get in trouble and give up. So that's a good sign that we're fighting to the finish. Got to fight to the finish. All right? But the key thing on these breakovers is we've got to move forward with the hill. The hill falls away from us. Um, so we had to be move extra more, extra forward, and you didn't hear really happen here. You came through here, hill falls away a bit, a little bit in the back seat. So, you know, we got we got your insides tip up, you got your outside tail out up. Um, not a lot of snow contact, landing a little bit in the back seat, and as we said, carried on. But did finish. But overall, you know, I had a good afternoon, some good skiing. Trying to make sure we have a consistent pole plan, make sure we're moving forward through the transition, and particularly over any breakovers, um, but and fight to the finish like you did there.